Well, hello there, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome! So on tonight's video, I thought I would go over my updated, um, finished, finally, Real VR Fishing Japan DLC spreadsheet that I have out there for you. And, uh, show you what I've added to it, and give you a little, little bit of a tips and tricks on how you can actually import this into your, uh, your game so that you can use this while you're fishing. Um, I'm gonna go over this, and then I'm gonna go over, um, why you have some fish that are missing on your, uh, on your Fishopedia. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on my uh, spreadsheet here. So this is my updated new spreadsheet. Um, I finally finished it. I've had freshwater done for quite a while. I finally finished ocean over the weekend. Um, some of the things that I've added, uh, native has been added to it now. So anything that's blue, matter of fact, I need to get rid of that X. That's not a native. Um, but anything that is blue over here um, is gonna be your native Japan fish. Um, so if you're wanting to finish your trophy over there and you need the native fish, uh, you're going to want to fish for those blue ones. Um, I've also added a tab here with links in it. Click on that, and the links have um, links to my other spreadsheets, some of my research links and stuff like that. Now, if you want to bring this into your game, what you want to do is you want to first log into Google Chrome. Um, do this on a computer. Log into Google Chrome um, with your, your Google account. And then um, open this up. Open up my spreadsheet here. And then you're going to go up to File. And you're going to add Shortcut to Drive. And what that will do is that will add that to your Google Drive. Um, then to open it, oops, open it, all you have to do, let me go back here. Go back out to Google. So you'll go into... The Google Apps up here. You'll scroll down to Sheets. You'll select Sheets. And then it will actually show you um, the ones that you've opened. And then you can just open up Reviewer Fishing and it'll bring it up. Now it's quite large. And when it comes up, it's going to be kind of hard to read. So then all you got to do is just go up here. And what I do is I zoom it out to either 75 or 50%. You'll get a little pop up down here every once in a while it says it's too small um, but yeah yeah and there it is the current window is too small to properly display the sheet but this at least will allow you to use the spreadsheet inside of the game and then you can you know look up here to see all uh, what color that you have to find um, for that uh, pop-eyed goldfish <laughs> of course that's easy to catch but um, you know if you go over to the ocean or if you want to go into the epics yeah these you got links to the videos for all the epics that I have here so all right so hopefully that will help you when you're in the game and uh, help you catch some of those fish that you're looking for. Or if you're trying to do one of Doc's derbies and you've got to catch a specific fish, uh, this will help you catch that fish. All right, let me go ahead and close that out. Now let's talk about the Fishopedia here. This is your Fishopedia. And one of the things that I've seen out on the Facebook page is some people have gone into South Korea. They only have South Korea and they go to the last page and they have these two right here that are blacked out. Golden Koi and the Golden Catfish. And they're wondering, why don't I have, I can't, I've fished everywhere and cannot find these fish. That is because these are only actually available in Japan. These are released for a couple of weeks in the summer of 2022 um, for an event. So you could catch the Japan fish. It was for the, the little trophies that I got over there in the fish tank, all right? So, uh, yeah. This is, uh, and actually I got my trophies up there, but this is for a, a summer event. So they were only available during the summer event in South Korea. Now, if you buy the Japan DLC, you'll be able to catch these two fish and add them to your, your board there. Um, but yep, that's why you can't find those. And also if you scroll over here, if you do have the Japan DLC and you scroll over, you have Japan selected and you see these ones here with the question marks and they're blacked out and you're wondering why can't I find those fish? Uh, that's because those are on the unreleased Japan 2 DLC that'll be coming out um, December. So it'll be coming out the first week of December. And um, I believe they said it's gonna be around $7.99. Um, I don't know that they have a specific price, um, but they said around $7.99 and uh, it should be the first week of December. Let's go ahead and head down um, to Lodge B and I'll take a look at that one. Okay, so here we are on Lodge B, and another one that you'll find here 
is on the very last page. You will see the Sergeant Fish, Convict Sergeant Fish. That was another one that was actually only available on all three maps for um, the summer event. It was a week that, that that was available, so you're not going to find that one on Japan or US West or South Korea right now. It was only available during that summer event. Um, who knows, they'll probably bring it back for another event at another time, or maybe it'll be in another release, maybe the next Japan release. I don't know, but we'll soon find out. That and the Oarfish. The Oarfish was another one of those that was only available in Japan. So um, you might have that on your South Korea list, but you still can't find it. Um, that's because it's only a Japanese fish. I'm not, I'm thinking Atelis as well is also a Japanese fish um, that they had available for the South Korea during that event. So if you have those blacked out and you only have South Korea, that is because those are actually Japanese fish. And I'm pretty sure that, uh, that that one as well. Those are only Japanese fish and they are only available in Japan currently. And also if you scroll down here, the same thing you'll find as we did on the other levels. You have these that are shadowed out. These ones that look like this, that's just a placeholder for any of the regular type of fish, not any epics or rares. The epics and rares will actually have their silhouette this is going to be a new, I believe that's going to be an epic. Yep, that's going to be a new epic that'll be coming out. I'm kind of excited to catch that guy. It looks like a pretty cool shark there. Um, here's a couple more normal fish. That's probably an epic or a rare. Got another normal. You got another epic or rare right there. Here's some more normals up here. And you got the lionfish coming out. I can tell what that silhouette is. I'm excited to catch that guy. The lionfish is really cool looking. And of course you got that sergeant fish. Um, again, that one was available only for that summer event. So um, that's why you have some of those fish that are blacked out and why you can't find some of them. It's because they were only available during that short period of time. And now you know that I have that new spreadsheet updated out there ready to go. And like I said, the links will be the links will be down in the description um, for that spreadsheet. And there are links and the tab of links in the, each one of my spreadsheets um, so you can jump back to any of the other spreadsheets as well so hopefully this video was very helpful for you and if it was don't forget me don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already that helps me out and it helps you out so you can find out all these cool tips and tricks and it helps me with my uh you know all the effort that i put into those spreadsheets and and stuff like that to help you guys out so thanks for watching have a great night Bye-bye.